Hi, in this section we're going to discuss the maintenance, service, and warranty sections of the manual for your Kessler Soils Engineering Products Inc. Dynamic Comb Penetrometer. We're going to start off with the maintenance first though. The DCP is relatively maintenance free. But there are a few things that you need to tend to in order to keep your DCP in good operating condition. And it will last you a long time if you do these things. Most of them revolve around using the 3-in-1 oil that is provided with you in the, in the kit. The first area that the 3-in-1 oil should be used is in lubricating the threads to your adapters and your hardened points that thread into the bottom of your drive rods, okay? And basically all you want to do is just put a drop drop on there and then thread them into the into the bottom. And I'll show you exactly what we're talking about here. We'll use our wrenches to loosen the, the uh, hardened point like this. So when you have a new when you have a hardened point that's been worn that the three millimeter edge has is not discernible, you can't see it any longer, then you want to you want to replace it with a new one. Every time you replace a new one, take your three one oil, just put a couple drops on it, and then thread it right into the into the drive rod. A couple of things. One, it'll keep the threads clean in the drive rod, and it also makes it easier to uh, install the hardened point. Then after you uh, hand thread it in, then the last thing you want to do is just give it a snug fit with the wrenches. On there. The same goes for the adapter. Just a drop on each time you put an adapter in, thread it up into the drive rod and that will keep the threads in the drive rod clean for you. The other use for the 3-in-1 um, oil is to clean your drive rod. After each use or each day, you should clean your drive rod. And sometimes you have to extend extend the uh, lower attachment up to be able to clean down here around the um, hardened point or the disposable the adapters. But what you want to do is put a little bit of oil on your on your rag and just run your rag up and down your drive rod to keep it to keep it clean. And then of course you want to do it up here at the top also. Alright, so that will keep that nice and clean. Obviously before you do the oil you want to get any mud or any grass or any other debris that is attached or uh, clinging to your drive rod, you want to remove that. Alright, the other place and the final place for the oil is on the upper assembly. And you want basically the same process as the drive rod. You want to take your rag, put a little bit of oil on it, and run it up and down your drive rod to keep it nice and clean. And then the same thing where the hammer is. You want to do that area too. What this will do is keep the uh, the rod clean and prevent any scarring of this rod with the hammer. One of the uh, key things and it, the requirements in the ASTM for the dynamic comb penetrometer is this distance from the anvil to the bottom of the handle along with the weight of the hammer. And you want to take good care of that by keeping this rod clean so that you maintain not only the distance but the weight of the hammer. The hammer is, uh, is a plus or minus 10 grams. So that's how, how tight of a tolerance it is on the hammer. Each one of these items are checked prior to the shipment of each DCP from our factory to ensure that the ASTM uh, requirements and tolerance within the ASTM requirements and tolerances for the DCPs prior to shipment. Okay. The other some other helpful hints is um, to use the oil when you have an adapter and you have an O-ring when you put the O-ring on if if you do it before you put it on it will uh, make it much more challenging for you. But once you put the O-ring on, just put a drop of oil on the O-ring, rub it with your fingers, and then rub it with a paper towel or, or cloth to take the excess off. This will help increase the life of your O-rings. 
in there for that. Okay, moving on, the other maintenance items that you want to do is you want to be able to check the straightness of your drive rods. You should do this prior to beginning a day's worth of testing or a new group of tests after you've been transporting the device. You do that by two methods. One method is to compare it to your vertical scale. Are they parallel? Do they look parallel? Is there any bowing or bents or kinks in either the, the vertical scale or the drive rod? So you want to look at it in both directions, turn it 90 degrees and check it. And if it looks straight, then you'll get uh, reliable results. The other method is by rolling the drive rod. Hang on a second. The other method is by rolling the drive rod. And what you want to do is take a drive rod outside of the vertical scale and on a flat surface you want to roll it. You want to see if it rolls nice and straight. The gap between the flat surface and the drive rod stays the same to indicate that it is a straight drive rod. So that's your care. So every day prior to testing or before a group of testing there's two steps you need to do. One is your drive rod straightness check and also your hardened point if you're using hardened points. And on the hardened point you're looking for two things. You're looking for the maintaining of the 60 degree angle on the cone shape and that the 3 millimeter edge or lip around the edge of it is still discernible. Those are two critical factors in making and giving you valid results in, this, in the test with the DCP. So if you have both those and you're, you're ready to start your testing, the, um, and this concludes the maintenance uh, portion of the training.